All right. Testing. All right. Testing. All right. All right, that appears to be working. Uh, <laughs> sorry, everyone. Uh, the uh, I was uh, previously I was trying to wrap up doing shards of war in in time, uh, but unfortunately. Uh, my wife came in as uh, as I was fighting off Fendi Nin and doing a pretty horrible job of fighting him off, uh, to be honest. But I I'm determined to uh, try to try to beat him and on stream I want to try to bring a little closure to this dungeon. Uh, my wife uh, had a long day at work, so she desperately need, needed the food. And she's going to relax, take a nice long shower, and curl up with one of her favorite mystery shows. So, which is going to allow me some time, hopefully, to finish this up. I'm not planning on this being a super long stream. Really just uh, going to try to finish off Fendi Nin. And, uh, and then maybe, depending on time, I might tackle some of the smaller dungeons, like uh, Secret Lair of the Snowmen or Faunus Iron Toes Lair. This is really just kind of a, a bonus, uh, a bonus stream. We'll we'll see how it goes. Anyway, so fending in, I've learned, I had completely forgotten his mechanics. So as it turns out, what you have to do, my eagle, <laughs> seeing me come back online. Oh, hey, he's back. Hey, eagle, welcome, welcome back. Margarita and crab dip. Nope. Uh, she she skipped the margarita, which was actually probably pretty good because a margarita can actually, it makes her really giggly, but then also pretty quickly, it makes her very sleepy. Now she was already very sleepy. So margarita was probably not a good idea. So no, we went to, uh, went to our local cafe. They have in January, they have a special on Dungeness crab which she likes, uh, she likes to, you know, crack the crab and she, they bring her out the big metal, uh, metal bucket, you know, and they bring the little things to use and she, you know, takes apart the legs and digs out the meat, you know, and all that stuff. Crab is good. Crab is good. A little bit of work, but it is good. It's kind of the January special thing. And she didn't get, uh, she didn't get crab last, last year. Because I think with COVID and all, and all that stuff, the the cafe, they were open, but I think they were only doing takeout at the time. And, you know, it's kind of hard to do the whole metal bucket Dungeness crab thing. Or if you do, you might as well, you know, just get the crab yourself. Whoa, people. Oh, that's right. Traps. Ha ha. So, yeah, Eagle, you're, you're back for some more some more comedy huh i'm going to see if i can't just you know suicide bomb <laughs> yeah Fendi nin down i had legitimately just completely forgotten how he worked um so i mean i keep saying it it's good that's the stuff that i like is relearning, re-remembering things, because in a way, it's almost like playing it for the first time. Now, I am going to... Those ritualists, when they pop up, do a lot of hurtful things, so I'm actually going to try to spread people out a little bit. We're still going to die, but... Uh... I'm hoping we can at least get a little bit of and uh let's let's see. Is the game the game audio isn't coming through at all, is it? I don't see it on my uh on my Streamlabs meter. Bendy? I don't think it is, yeah. My Guild Wars is a little weird. 
if I unplug my headphones or turn my headphones off, it messes with the sound and I can't get it back unless I actually restart Guild Wars. So unfortunately, and of course restarting Guild Wars, I'm in the middle of a dungeon. I don't want to do that. So I'm afraid it might be soundless. You know what? I'm going to have to look into getting, for cases like this, I'm going to have to look into getting that... Uh, Rusty said that there was a Twitch-approved soundtrack site or something you could you could go to, like a Twitch version of Spotify that you don't have to worry about DMCA or any of that stuff. Especially, it's corner cases like this where that would actually be useful. I do like running the game audio as much as possible. Okay, getting ready. Soul offending in everybody on him. Get that, get an assassin. Well, the spread out, the flagged heroes is definitely helping a bit. We got maybe, uh, you can find anything on YouTube with DMCA free. Just give it free. Oh, oh, so yeah, just do a DMCA free search. That makes sense. Okay. Well, I expected that wipe, but I think we did actually cut the soul health roughly in half from where it was. So that was actually, I'd actually call that a good run myself. Now, it's my understanding that um, if you reach 60 death penalty in hard mode, it kicks you out. But in normal mode, I think you can keep suiciding. But I don't know if that applies to dungeons. Because I'm now at the point where if I die one more time, I'll be, I'll be maxed out. I'm going to confirm this because I might need I might need to do two more runs at this guy. In okay, yeah, in hard mode resurrection shrines will not work if every party member has 60. A wipe will return. So in normal mode, I can just keep I can just keep suiciding on this guy. So that is the plan. Pretzel.rocks has music. I shall have to look. Offhand, I'm not sure what kind of music I would put in the background. It's probably something pretty mellow. I wouldn't be putting like heavy metal or anything like that. I'd probably lean towards some, I, again, and I, I apologize for the audio thing. I, I, don't really want to stop stream to go shopping for music at the moment. And I walked through got trap earlier and got hit hard. So I'm going to force myself to talk for a little bit. Assuming I beat Fendi here, I will I'll keep the stream up. I'll shut Guild Wars down and restart it. And that should that should kickstart the audio again. I don't know what it is uh, with my setup that does that, but. And then I will uh, keep playing. Um, yeah, clear out these guys. I want to get my same spread out system that I had earlier, though. And get ready for... Ooh. People are getting hit. Oh, well, I'm not keeping together as one up. That's probably part of the problem. 
All right, fending in, die, soul fending in, get technoed and assassined. And I need Hmm. All right, we didn't do a whole lot of damage on that one. <laughs> wow, this is brutal. I don't, I don't, I mean, I do have a couple of clovers left, but I mean, that would be so sad to waste all my clovers at this point just for this. You know, maybe, you know, maybe I'll see if I can pull them a little farther back. See if there's a better spot that I can spread my my heroes out on. <sighs> and this poison is about to go off. Now I just know the game is going to draw it out since I don't have game audio. Like, oh man, now I now I really have to talk the whole time. But yeah, I came back. I wanted to start up the stream again because I just I really didn't want to leave it on that note of having an unresolved dungeon in in my in my stream. So I at least wanted to. Post a little update. So I left the game running. And uh, while I was at dinner, I was like, you know what? My wife said, you know, when we got home, she was going to take a shower and just curl up and watch one of her shows. I'm like, okay, great. I will go back and I will finish this. I am here to finish the war. Exactly. I really kind of can't get over how this dungeon went. Because... The first level was fine, you know, I mean, once I got, you know, once people had helped me out with builds and everything, uh, the first floor was pretty much fine. The second floor was okay, a little, a little rocky here and there. Third floor, I started getting, you know, getting kicked pretty hard. Uh, but even so, I was still sort of feeling okay about things until I got here. Oh, oh he's right there. Actually, well, let's do this. Let's have, actually, let's put you front and center. You there. You there. Hmm. And I'm on fire now. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh thank thank you. Thank you for the rebirth. Oh I am just the worst Guild Wars player of today. Oh and now I have to oh, remember Chandra. Remember Chandra? She's the most body blocking NPC I think I've ever seen in the game. It's quite unpleasant. Well, it turns out Fendi has quite a... Yep. Fortunately, Together as One is just enough to counteract burning. Nice, and just enough to bring this archer in. I don't actually care about the archers all that much. Just want to bring Fendi over.
He's on fire. And now he's attacking. Come on, Fendi. Come on, just a little more. Whoa! Oh, my monk went and tried to heal me. And I'm in a bad... This is so unbelievably bad. This is the worst... This is the worst Guild Wars gameplay. Oh, man. All right. Waiting for this trap. Come on. Ah. Okay. Okay, finally. <laughs> Good fights. Oh, okay. Um, the warrior. Use a death penalty. The removal. I'll share some afterwards. Ah, uh, it's almost, it's almost on principle now. It irritates me. Here, let's let's see if I let, let let's see if I can put a, a dent in his soul on this one because this will be in a new position. I'd like him to back up a little bit more though. Although, yeah, we're hot. We're all the way up on death penalty now, so it's it's going to hurt. Bracing for it. Oh, and my monk. Oh, why did why is she dead? You know what? All of the ritualists are off over there. Screw it. Everybody charge. Oh no, he's retreating! He's retreating! And we're now in the in the line of fire on the traps. Hey, we actually... Okay. That was actually not all that bad. Uh, now I've got a lot of, I've got a huge mess to deal with. Because I don't have uh, half my team. But it's possible. Oops, I don't know why I... Hey, pet, go get... Okay. <laughs> like, no, I'm not... I'm not using the death penalty just yet. We actually had a really good run right there. So, in the interest of... Can I do it? I am uh, going to continue with this. Although, actually, you know, Monk should be the one resing people here. Because she has the distance res. Uh-oh. And I think I can get this one. Oh, Master Whispers is way back there. Where's my warrior? Oh, she's gonna... Yep. Run through and run through the fire traps. <laughs> oh, man. I feel... I, I, I do feel really genuinely badly for my characters at this point. I am glad I went and, took and broke for dinner because uh, this is 
this part two is turning into a legitimate part two, even though it's just him. Okay, so I'm going to put all the team there, put Warrior over here, because she's going to charge forward no matter what. You know, actually, there really isn't a good setup here. Because of the heroes that I chose to put on my in my top three slots. Oh, hey, Fendi. Come on. And there goes my warrior. Darn it. Uh, can I have you not? Come back here. Up, oh, and she's going to go right through the flames. Oof. All right, let's everybody regroup a little bit. Oops, no. I'm sitting here, I'm flagging my heroes and he's just, he's just wiping us out. Oh, and we got him too. But not enough to. You know what? Fuck it. Might be able to do a little bit. Oh, no. He's. That was, that was so horrible. I keep think wondering if this run can go more poorly. And every time there's I find there's new ways for it to go bad. I just want to see what I get out of this chest at the end. I'm, I'm quite sure that there's nothing in that chest that would be worth all of this at this point. This is purely about finishing at this point. I don't even care about the chest at this point. I'm going to have to clear all these guys again. Come on, Archer. And, oh, I was waiting for her to die. Where's Fendi? Oh, he's way over there. Might be able to know. Come on, Skeleton Archer. Individually, not a problem. 
It's just the uh, Okay, can I now lure Fendi? All right, bet, go ahead and charge. Oh, <laughs> the spirits are blocked. Oh, man. All right. All right. I am conserving my energy, waiting for soul to appear and there he is everybody pile on all the time to be without Managed to last uh, one whole soul cycle just on my own, and then get, gets crowded by skeleton warriors. His soul is almost gone, though. We've almost got him. So, so yeah, I am not. Uh, I will not need the my last four clovers. This is the other thing I'm thinking. I kind of want. I these are the only four leaf clovers I have to my name right now. I kind of want to keep them until the next uh, St. Patrick's Day, at least. Until the next time I can actually get more of them. I love you, I... And I love you, random citizen. Oh, and who's, who's following? Big Kittens is now following. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. But <laughs> reconsider. <laughs> this, is, this is such a horrible, disastrous run. Of this but I'm I'm so determined to uh, to finish this that uh, and I know this is embarrassing it's putting what every good name I might have had to shame in the Guild Wars community but uh, damn it I'm doing it if this was hard mode uh, shards of ore this would be this would be fine you know I, I would expect this level of challenge this is normal mode that's kicking my ass And uh, it's it's kind of wild. All right, so we got more archers there than I wanted. Ooh. Oh, oh shit, Bendy's here. All right, well. Uh, you know what? I'll put you there, you there, you here, you here. And I will... My, my warrior's just sitting there. I mean, I know I disabled her, but I expected she would at least come back to her flag. Oops. Head is about to go down, and I wasn't able to get him just in time. Oops. Your bad things are about to happen. I'm going to pull back. I do not want Fendi to die. Right 
God damn it. All right, well, here we go. Nope, 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 we don't. And I'm alone because I flagged my heroes. All right, we can get one of these guys, can't we? God, this is so, hey, I unflagged you, darn it. Oh man. It really is hurting to be this close. And my pet was in the fire. Wrong. It's this. Who has the other pet? That's right. Man, it's fire traps. It seems to me Fendi's soul is now close enough that we should be able to just burst him down. If I can get a techno babble and assass and an assassin on him, I think he'll go down. But just in case. I am going to uh, space things out a little bit. I should have interrupted that Feast of Corruption. All right, get ready. Soul of Fendi, attack him. Oh, I want to put that assassin on him. So close, he's so close. Come on, Elementalist, no. Come on, pet, last one hit. You can do it, pet. I had such high hopes for that pet. Bendy needed just one more hit. Oh. Oh, hey, there's a staff over there I never picked up. Don't need it, but. <laughs> God. I thought this was going to be fast. Well, not fast, fast, but, you know, I thought it would be maybe another 10 minutes. I have been going for about 30 minutes. You know, I think this dungeon actually might be worth coming back to again. You know, build, build up my teams a little better. You know, get some better stuff going on. And now knowing, you know, be a little better prepared. Wait patiently for traps. Yes, thank you. What are you doing? Uh... Each attack also causes burning. Yeah, whatever. All right. Um, let's see. 
Oh, and for any, oh, the viewers, uh, for any people viewing, I am aware, uh-oh, I am aware that the game is currently not providing any sound, and that's, there's an audio issue on my end, but the only way to fix it is to actually restart the game, but since I am in the middle of this dungeon. I don't want to do that until I complete this uh, this particular task. Uh, let's bring the pet back. Really? Is my healer that far back? Oh, I guess she was. All right. I'll bring her forward a little bit. Oh, and they, they're archers and they've got the high ground, of course. Alright. Yes. Come along, you. Come down here, into range. I'll put an assassin on you. Let my party deal with you. Get this guy. Oh, he's running away. Okay. Uh, no, don't run away. Right, come down a little bit closer. A little closer. There we go. If I can just bring him over. Together as one. Come on, Fendi. Uh, pet, come with me. I'm trying to bring Fendi down in, in here. Whoa! Okay, desecrate enchantments, that's a bad thing. For sure. All right. We've got him. Ah. <sighs> You did it. <laughs> but at what cost? Oh, my God. I did it without using those last four clovers. And that was, that was, in the end, the only, oh, what? Oh, check this out. We're all going to die because they're right on that trap. So what did we get? I got a onyx gemstone. Oh, and I think that's it, because you only get one item out of normal mode, don't you? So I just got one onyx gemstone. That's fine. Got a little bit of gold. Get a scythe here. <laughs> First time chat from Almond. Thank you, GG. Thank, thank you very much. Oh, that was such an ordeal. But I at least have closure on it. I, I completed the dungeon was embarrassing as hell but but I did in fact do it all right so I'm going to return to Vloxes I'm going to do the usual little bit of inventory management um, and then I think 
for a palette cleanser, I think I shall run uh, the Secret Lair of Snowmen and hopefully not run into these issues. Again, famous last words. Oh, wow, look at all those bones I got. Is that what... Because is that what people farm shards of ore for? Is because you get a shitload of bones? Because that would make sense. Bone dragon staff. Oh, okay. Oh, that's where you get the bone dragon staff. Okay. I've heard of the bone dragon staff, and I think I've seen it. And uh, I'm like, yeah, I don't actually really all care all that much for the design of it, but oops, let me get a, another regular. I wish they sold like a superior, a regular salvage kit in like 100 use versions, as opposed to just this 25. Crate skin gives me scales. Get even more bones off of the dead bones, because I do. I did accidentally buy an extra, uh, an extra material storage capacity on the Guild Wars site. I meant to get just a. Uh, uh, and I love oh, you, random citizen. Another follow. Yes, one Hagrid. <laughs> I, I I know the exact uh, Im image there. First time chat, PS1, which is the most played? Prophecies, Factions, or Nightfall? Uh, most played would probably be Prophecies. If you, ask, if you ask any Guild Wars 1 player, you're going to get different answers like as to what their favorite is. My favorite, in general, is the Eye of the North expansion, but of course that's built for like uh, level 20 characters. Uh, for starting out, if you want to start and get to level 20 quickly, uh, water myself. If you want to start and get to level 20 as quickly as possible, you play factions. Uh, Nightfall is where you first gain access to heroes, you know, customizable henchmen. So it's great for that. Nightfall also probably has the best overall pacing of leveling versus story. Prophecies is very... I like Prophecies the most, kind of as a starter, but I will also admit it's very slow because it's introducing systems and skills to you at a very slow rate to try to get you used to everything uh the way everything works and for some people it's it's almost too slow now especially if you're an experienced player and you're starting a new character starting in prophecies <laughs> can be a little aggravating because you're like yes i already know the skills i want i want to get them but they're way far you know away in the game and i'm not there yet so i'm going to see uh, so PS1 Haggard, I, I, by that question, I'm inferring a lot. Are you considering, uh, playing the game? It sounds like, uh, you know, perhaps you haven't played before. Maybe you're looking at it. It is, uh, it's kind of been put in the MMO category. I hesitate to call it an MMO. It's more of a hub-based uh, game in that when I'm in a town like this, I'm currently in Bloxus Falls, I can see other players, these people with blue names. But the minute I step out into the world, you get your own instance, you get your own dungeon and everything. So the world is yours. No one is coming to save you if you die. Which, honestly, I actually like. That was... Uh, I like that feeling of, you know, you go out in the wilderness, you're on your own a bit. Want to get back into it? I played maybe 10 years ago and just want to play, you know, chill and play it. Yep. That's pretty much, that was pretty much my story too. I, I played it quite a bit, uh, 10 years ago. 
Do I already use all the salvage? Yeah. And yeah, put it down when basically when Guild Wars 2 came out, and I played Guild Wars 2 for a year or two. And I like I liked it, but there were some things, a lot of things actually, that I missed from the original Guild Wars. And it didn't hold my attention for too long. And then real life happened and other games happened, and I just kind of fell off fell out of the Guild Wars 1 or Guild Wars universe in general um, until uh, a couple of months ago I just excuse me I just felt like playing again so picked up the game and made some embarrassing uh, errors early on as I was picking the game up thought more experienced Guild Wars 1 players on the internet would be amused by the mistakes I've been making, so uh, so I decided to stream. Uh, so yeah, on Saturdays I run dungeons, and today was a double dungeon. I ran Bloodstone. You know this this is exactly what went wrong. I know exactly why Shards of War went so wrong for me. Was I started the day, I did the Bloodstone Caves dungeon, and I did it in hard mode. It was a complete cakewalk. I think maybe only one character die actually i don't know that i even lost any characters i think i lost a pet a pet like one pet died in the whole thing it was super easy i even over aggro the end boss group and we still just kind of walked right through it it was super super easy and then uh and then i figured oh okay i'll do shards of war and shards of war just made me pay pay for the ease um you know what here I'm going to make one change here. For the sake of posterity, I'm going to... Uh, distracting Blow was the one. Thing. I'm going to save these templates. They're not great templates, but uh, I do want to save them and look at them later and adapt them for another Shards of War run. So I changed hero this the knockdown the whole knockdown thing that I was trying to do I don't think was working at all. Uh, I didn't do anything special there. I did do a little bit here, not much, but. But yeah, if you're looking at getting back in the game, I mean, it's it's all still there, and um, the population is thinned out a bit. So if you were big into PvP, my understanding is PvP is really just kind of not a thing anymore. Uh, outside of, like, faction farmings, like, you can do... Uh, was it Jade Quarry, I think, is still active? And maybe Fort Aspenwood. And if they do like a faction weekend for alliance battles, that can be uh, that can be busy. But other than that, things like uh, Heroes Ascent or you know Guild versus Guild are kind of uh, not really not really a thing anymore. Sadly, I am going to rearrange myself back to my old pet way build because it's comfortable and uh, after after shards of war I need I need a little comfort I think now I may come to regret this <laughs> so let's see Her, I was running this I want to say I was using something else there, but I don't remember what. I'll load the default thing on there. Oh yeah, Petway is coming back. Ritualist. I'm gonna go back to my regular Ritualist Spirit Healers. A little bit of a hybrid thing. Uh, I'm gonna bring.
swap that out so she can bring her pet. I just like running around with an army of pets, honestly. Uh, let's see. For her, I usually bring stability as well. And that's fine. All right, so I'm going to look and see. Uh, Secret Lair of the Snowmen. I don't remember exactly how you activate this. Acquired Crest, Lost Treasure of King Hundar. Assist Chorus Deep Runner in Umbral Grotto. Umbral Grotto. Where's Umbral Grotto? Is that over here? There it is. Slaver's Exile. Yeah. I'm as bad as today was with... Uh... Oh! I remember what I was going to do. I'm sorry. I spent all this time talking. Uh, PS1, hey, I think I'll start Nightfall, get some heroes. Solid choice. I mean, heroes are definitely helpful. Uh, I'm going to close down. I'm, I'm going to keep the stream up, but I need to close Guild Wars and reopen it in order to uh, restart the audio. And I forgot I was going to do this, so I will do this now. Bear with me one moment, please. And make sure that my audio is working. Yes. So in theory, if I launch Guild Wars and log in, I hear it in my headphones and I see it tapping in my meters. Okay, so we should have audio again. Sorry for uh, forgetting about that for so long. Uh, Chorus Deep Runner. Where is it? There he is. Oh, I remembered to check. I actually have the quest active. Okay, so I talked to him. Let's go hard mode. Actually, first, before I do this, I'm going to read what, what the quest actually is. According to a completed map, that's right, you, you get map pieces that you link together. King Hundar's treasure lies not far from here. Out of all this time, I've been standing on top of a fortune beyond my wildest dreams. Ready to become a wealthy person, always. Now, I know this is Lair of Snowmen, but I have heard that the snowmen actually create minions. Like their dead bodies become minions. Which is handy. Shall see how accurate that is. Whoa, okay. That's a lot of them. Oh, and I didn't reset for Pain Inverter. Oh well. Techno Babble is probably good. Now this dungeon, this dungeon layout, I actually have run before. That's the thing that I usually try to do with my dungeon runs, is play ones I haven't played before. This dungeon was used in the, uh, in the Winter's Day event that just came and went. But the thing is, the Winter's Day version, it's a solo. It's a solo dungeon, and they give you snowball skills. So this is already a little bit different in that uh, that I can bring a whole team in here, which is actually pretty cool. Let's 
so far, things seem to be going all right. Oh, sorry, PS1 Hangar. If I remember, you can choose Warrior and Subglass into Elementalist. Or yep, that is correct. Whoa. A lot of dead bodies just came up. Yeah, when you're a character, your character creation screen, you would choose warrior, ranger, monk, necromant. Uh oh, snowballs. About to get snowballs. Yeah, you choose your primary class, and that is unchangeable. But then, uh, shortly into the game, you can choose what you want your secondary class to be. On this character, I have it as a Ritualist, so I can use the Splinter weapon. And then later on in the game, you get the option to change. So you can change into any secondary, you know, pretty much at any time. Or at least any time you're in a town, you can change not just your skill bar, but what secondary profession you are. All right, minions are going to uh, take the bulk of this. Theory. Oh, there's going to be this trap right here. It might hurt. <laughs> Ooh. I want to disable that trap. It's not really hurting me all that much, it's just kind of annoying. Ugh. Yeah, after, uh, <laughs> after Shards of War, this is definitely much easier just run with my army of pets and minions and just let them just let them eat everything They're not all close enough for my uh, my volley to connect with, but wow! Look at all those guys. So. There's a distinct chance that minions are going to make this messy for me. Or they could just slowly feed us enemies at a reasonable rate. Ice traps. Why am I not have enough energy? Oh, because they keep dying before I can activate my uh, my assassin. I am gonna go back and get that area map. I I'm familiar enough with the way. This dungeon looks... Oh, hey! Gold daggers. Requires nine. Oh, nice. Those might be a decent set. There's a chance of those being a decent pair of daggers. Oh! Necromancer is standing right on that trap. The 
there's a couple guys over there that can be splintered. This guy, and then I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna get that big group back there just because. Just because it's a big group. Whoa! Traps. And I imagine Chorus Deep Runner needs to stay alive. Okay, that's a bad spot for trap. Everybody out of the ice, please. Everybody bunch up right there and get splintered. That was kind of why I wanted to get this group, was I figured they would all bunch up nicely on, on the bridge there. Although now they are obstructed. I will grab the area map just in case they changed anything. Nope, there's a key, there's a gate. Shall continue. Whoops, watch out for ice traps. One that really needs to worry about ice traps is my necromancer. Because, uh, A, she takes damage more than the others. B, if it hits her minions, she'll try to use Blood of the Master to heal her minions, which just ends up hurting her even more. That trap's gonna get in her party. Yep. Whoa, okay. We have a significant amount of incoming. Oh. You know, this seems like a uh, secret lair of the snowmen. This seems like this would be a great farm. I don't know what you would farm for in here. But there's so many enemies. It seems like you would really want to group up and do and something. I love you, random citizen. Hey! Chaos Imp! Hey, thank you for the follow there. I don't know uh, how long you've been watching, but I am just doing a palette cleansing run through the Secret Lair of the Snowmen after getting my uh, ass thoroughly handed to me in Shards of Ore. Normal mode. Like, like the team comp. <laughs> are, are you a, a fellow uh, a fellow Petway? A pet way, man. You like, you like running with a bunch of pets and minions. I always, I always liked kind of leading just this massive army of. Uh, 
of uh, guys. Loads and loads of meat shields out there. Oh, and traps everywhere. Uh, get up here. Get, get up here. Oh, you're Mezway. <laughs> oh shoot, there's traps right there. I didn't even see those. Oh shit, we are in... We're in bad shape. We're in bad shape. Oh, we're in such bad shape. Everybody run! I did not see that group of traps right there. <laughs> I'm sorry, did I say I was in here relaxing from Shards of Ore? Was uh, was a little bit hurt, hurt, hurtful. Just finished up two vanquishes and Cathedral of Flames normal mode. Cathedral of Flames is a good dungeon. That's that's a fun one. Let's get rid of this guy and then start bringing some of my team back. Uh, you guys are standing right on traps. She's going to wander right through traps. Oh. Cathedral of Flames. Yeah, Cathedral of Flames can be pretty quick. I'm not really much of a speedrunning guy. I tend to... Uh... Oops. Alright. Man, this is so bad. Okay, we might not be able to get the Necromancer from here. Oh, you used to be into speedrunning and now you take your time. I respect that. Yeah, somewhere along the line, I don't have anything against speedrunning, it's just me personally. I like to just kind of cruise through just at my own, at my own pace. And with an army of pets and things. This is, uh, this dungeon's a little hurtful on me with the traps, and I know they'll get deactivated, or at least I think they get deactivated once I kill this last guy. I need to kill him before, uh, yes, traps disabled. <laughs> Oh wait, I just heard some traps fire. I thought I did. Okay, pets. Let's get pets back. I continue to not have any lock, uh, lock picks. Because I keep forgetting to buy some. Oh well. Dungeon open. This is not quite the last group. These guys are all ranged, though. side. Okay, so yeah, the traps do slowly pressurize you. That's, that's for sure. Yet another case where I'm very glad that I have together as one. 
because that makes traps much more uh, survivable in general. This is such an odd dungeon, though, because, I mean, it kind of makes sense, Winter's Day, like all these snowmen and everything. But for it to be, like, part of, I don't know, lore or something, it just seems weird. I don't know, maybe that's just me. You know what, I will throw an assassin out there. Who got stopped almost instantly? Oh, you know what? I think I need to look at my uh, my skill points on this build because I think I tweaked them on uh, before shards of ore, and I need to adjust them back. Boss key. That was not the boss. The boss is more. Okay, so this part is actually different from uh, the Winter's Day version. It's this extra room. There does not appear to be a boss in here, though. Dwarven skeleton. Each remains of a dwarf. In Hundar's journal. This is it! Yes, the treasure is ale. Perhaps it's the finest ale of any dwarf will ever taste. I'm ironically trapped where none shall ever taste it. Over the avalanche, I can find no escape from the caverns. My last days shall be spent intoxicated with the finest ale in the all known world. I can think of few better ways for a great dwarven king to meet its end. His end. My only regret is that none will ever know that which I have achieved. King Hundar's legendary treasure is a vat of ale? No, this can't be. Came all this way. way. Might as well give the ale a taste. Nothing like stumbling back to the surface drunk. Holy Hierophant, this is the finest ale I've ever tasted in my life. Recipe is right, right here. It'll take the world by the storm. And there's a chest. Chest of Winter's Day Past. Oh! You can still you can still get rainbow candy car can candy canes and winter's day items out of this without actually doing winter's day stuff. I did not realize that. Cool. Um, well, that was that. Actually, do I need to talk to what's his name? Horus. He's not going to do anything. Completed. Sea Chorus Sea Burner. I guess back in town. A little odd that I can't just talk to him there to get the reward. But, oh well. Axis high. When I first found the ale, I was skeptical, but when I think about how many thirsty dwarves I know, well, I could turn a profit with this find. Deep Air Brewery has a nice ring to it. Alright. Yeah, I feel a little bit better after, uh... Hmm? Not half bad daggers. Not great, but not horrible otherwise. Going to salvage some stuff and then I will probably close up shop. Um, I wasn't going to originally going to be streaming tonight, but I just could not leave shards of ore in the pathetic state that I left it. I'm glad I left the game up. So I could continue beating my head against Fendi Nin for what seemed like an eternity. 
I actually have no use for any of these, but... And materials. And I'll sort those out later. All right. Uh, well, again, short stream. I just really just wanted to finish off Shards of War. That took way longer than I thought it would. Just even doing that much. So, but I'm on here and I will see... I will set up a second raid of the evening. Who is playing at the moment? There's Armbro. I raided him earlier. Uh, let's see. Have a great night and a good and good little stream. Thank thank you very much. Good night to you two as well. Uh, here's a guy, Kachindi Dragon. I don't know anything about this guy, but he is apparently and or wind down. He's running with a migraine apparently. Well, let's let's give him let's give him a little raid. Uh, assuming I spell this right. Actually, it's not all that hard hard to spell. I'm going to put up, put up my closing screen, and uh, thanks for hanging out for a little bit. And I'll be back tomorrow on my new character, new account, uh, and I will be running her through Sorrow's Furnace uh, before ultimately taking her on to factions. So basically tomorrow will pretty much be Sorrow's Furnace Day, probably. And then, uh, and then probably next week I will run her through factions or run a different starting character through the island of factions before then picking her up uh on the mainland we'll see we'll see how it goes anyway i'm going to put up my closing screen and start a raid thanks for hanging out and uh, we'll see you guys later <laughs>